Now, do you get it a lot, Janina? I don't get it enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I figured, I figured, like, you know, this was going to be a thing, and it, it does not happen. Really? I think... They think that, you know, like the Shiva's a little sacred. <laughs> so they don't want to offend her because it will give them bad mojo for their season. Yeah, they don't want right. to lose. That's my theory. Yeah. Oh, it does work. It does work now. Does it work? There it is. It well, does. also, Janina's on True Blood now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I think when they see you, they get a little excited. Yeah, I think they're more, they, they, they have other things they want to scream at you. <laughs> 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 they want to show you their pretty um, <laughs> I wanted to, um, to read a couple questions because we are on Hulu. This is, these are questions from uh, uh, hashtag Hulu Live. And uh, John, this is for you. Um, they say Mr. LeJoie. Oh. This must be like a 10 year old. First time ever. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. LeJoie, for episodes that feature a taco musical interlude, how involved do you get? So do you like write those? Do you collaborate? Uh, well, it's a collaboration between uh, Jeff, Jackie, and I. Uh, they will come to me with uh, some kind of storyline, like a fear boner or <laughs> or vinegar strokes. Uh, usually has to do with a penis. Um, it's the stuff of classic songwriting, really. <laughs> yeah. It's been happening for years. Well, yes, Neil Young. It's all yeah. about yeah. dicks. Yeah. Um, Not always. Vaginal hubris. And vaginal hubris. We are totally and it, it's about, <laughs> yeah. I know I wrote Show Me Your Genitals, but it doesn't have to all be about genitals. <laughs> <laughs> but no, and then we we you know we go back and forth maybe you know five six times and we well, work out amazing. lyrics. He's amazing at taking like we'll sort of say okay like Vinegar Strokes you want to do this kind of thing and he you write such catchy catchy songs. Catchy felt like and makes them all himself. Yeah. I mean, he, he. I don't. People. I. I didn't realize except being working with John. He writes. He creates the music and shoots all the videos. Like everything that he does on his own and all this stuff for the show. He largely does those tracks himself. Oh, so lonely. Shit. Was he fucking Beethoven? Come on. About the guy in the band. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking jealous. Oh, piano. <laughs> but that's what we wanted. That's I mean, look, when we were sort of when John had all that stuff in the internet, we're like, oh my god, this is we knew we wanted to do a show about fantasy football. And the biggest one of the biggest components about fantasy football are the message boards. And we wanted to have people that are, were used to making their own stuff that we could go, hey, you know, do this, do that. Do this. So everyone could sort of go off and and all these guys have the capabilities and the experience in making their own their own stuff. And that was one of the most important things to us because we knew that that was going to be a big component. And uh, I, I honestly, when we wrote the character of Taco in the pilot, we, and we met John, I think, right after we finished writing it. And John was the first person of this crew that we had met for this. And um, it, it, I can't imagine that there could be anybody that could ever play Taco the same way. And the sort of all the expertise that you've brought to the production and writing the music and creating the videos has been invaluable. And Where I think did the name Taco come from? Ah, we I would just, like to know that. We, we just always wanted to name like, that character Taco. Yeah, it, just, it, was, it seemed like it's, it was such a basic non-name name. <laughs> it's, just an, it's just an item. Like, it's, it's just lovely, and I, it's like no one would ever be, we just, it was, and it, we sort of like, we just sort of talk about it, it was sort of always taco, and then he came, and, was, and John was always taco, it's just, it I'm was glad like, you I'm made the show before you made a kid. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good. I think this is also for John, where can I get a Mr. McGiblets costume for Halloween? <laughs> one of the most frequently asked questions. So everyone tells us how awesome it is to work with FX, and it is. Don't get us wrong. FX is, is a network unlike any other network. I, but! But <laughs> they won't let us make a McGiblets costume. What? However, However, um, because they're convinced that not enough people will buy them. However... Which I think is a mistake. However, we do have a Mr. McGiblets doll coming very, very, very soon. That Does will go on talk? sale. Is it it does talk. Okay. It's awesome. It's awesome. My there will be a Mr. McWiblets costume coming out. <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. They're making them in China right now. Um, <laughs> no, we are we are we're, we're, we're we are still working on it. wrestling to get you the the world the we, Mr. McGiblets costume. But we do make other cool stuff. I got McGiblets bootleg costumes if you want in the back. Yeah. <laughs>